basically a big kid. You know, I don't really ever want to grow up. I got a tattoo of a unicorn on my shoulder so I can never take myself too seriously. I tend to work on a lot of brands that relate to kids. Something that really sells and relates to people is humor. Yeah, I really like incorporating humor and playfulness. I'd rather be telling jokes and making funny, weird things than selling bank statements or whatever it is. Not that those clients are bad, but it's more fun, I think, to keep it playful. In advertising, you really have to be able to wear a bunch of different hats. So depending on who the client is, what the look and feel for the project is, you know, you kind of have to adapt and take on these different looks. And this is gonna sound weird, but I think especially in advertising, they really care about what do you do when you're not at work? What kind of passions and hobbies do you have? Are you a good person? Are we gonna like seeing you every day? Especially at McGarry Bowen, culture is huge. Any ad agency wants a good culture. My style, personally, is definitely a little bit wackier, but I have to hone it in and really, you know, concentrate for that. It's a little bizarre. It's very modern. It's a little bit looser and playful and expressive. I've stepped a lot away from realism. I like to put myself into whatever it is that I'm working on, whether it's my own artwork, the music, these big campaigns that I'm working on. When I was at SCAD, in my illustration classes, what I walked away with the most, I think, and that really helps here, is I have really strong concepting skills. The idea comes first, and then execute on that. I'd rather see something with a little bit of soul behind it than the most beautifully rendered portrait. If it has some sort of a narrative or can kind of make you think and, and take something away from it, that's a big win.